Hello everyone. Good evening. My name is Sumit Goyal and I am a cell phone subject matter expert. Today I am going to share you about how to use page reference in a Salesforce. So first of all let's understand what is a page reference. So page reference is a reference to an instantiation of a page among other attributes and a page reference consists of a URL and a set of query parameters, names and values and it refers to a page reference for a visual force page that has already been saved in your organization. It means if you want to refer to any page reference or if you want to refer to any page or any visual force page, so first of all we need we need to create that page in our application or we can refer to any particular URL also. So basically when to use page reference, when you want to view a set query string parameters and value for a page or if you want to navigate the user to a different page as a result of an action method. So let's see how to implement a page reference in Salesforce. So what is my requirement? So let's talk about the requirement first. So my requirement is I need to build a series of pages and a series of visual force pages basically and in my visual force page, let's see this is my first page, this is my second page and this is my page 3. Now in page 1 I would like to get account name from the user. So I would like to add a field over here and input field and a button over here and the data which the user going to be input that is over here is account name and on this it will be saved. So what I want to do is when the user enter account name over here Let's say this is page 1, this is page 2 and this is page 3. So I would like when the user enter account name over here, let's say enter username account name ABC and click on save button. So I would like to transfer the control onto next page, onto page 2. But before transferring the control to next page or to page 2, I would like to save this particular account name or I would like to create a new account into under account object. So it's a standard object. I would like to save the data or I would like to create this account name into account object. So when you click on save, it will create a new account over here and it will transfer the control to page 2. Now on page 2, what it will do, first of all, it will show the account name over here it will show the account name which we have mentioned or which we have entered on page 1 and then there will be a text box and in that text box user will be a user need to enter phone number and then there will be a button over here there will be a button over here and the text on that button will be update so now when the user clicked on the button and user enter, let's say user enter phone number 123 and clicked on the button. So what it should do, I would like to update this phone number for the particular account which we have entered on page 1. For let's say it will show over here ABC over here. So this ABC is coming from page 1. So when I click on update, I would like to save or I would like to update this phone number for this particular account into account object and transfer the control to page 3 and on page 3 it will simply show the account name and the phone number which we have mentioned on pa respectively page 1 and page 2. So this is my scenario or so this is the scenario which I am going to implement using page reference. So let's see how to perform how to do this with the help of page reference. Now the issue is because like as I told you just now I told you in page reference that if we want to refer to a visual force page so first of all we need to create that visual force page or the page should be already saved in the organization but the, but the issue here is this if I want to if I click on save button and if I want to transfer to page 2 so this page 2 does not exist so first of all I need to create page 2 then I need to and same with page 2 if I click on update button and it will transfer the control to page 3. So it means first of all page 3 should exist then only I will be able to transfer the control to page 3. 
So in this scenario or to perform this scenario what I am going to do is I am going to start from the back. It means first of all I, I will create page 3, then I am going to create page 2, then I am going to create page 1 at the end. So let's see how to do this. So let me switch to my Salesforce account and I am going to create a Visual Force page over here using URL method. So I give a name over here, let's say screen 1 or sorry screen 3 and click on enter. Create Visual Force page screen 3 over here. I'll, I'm going to erase the content over here and I'm going to write my own code. I'm going to execute my own code. So first of all, I'm going to create a custom controller over here and the controller name as screen 3. And here I'm going to use fx colon form. Then fx colon page block and fx colon page block section and in this section because on page 3 we only want to display the account name and phone number so there will be no output input text there will only be output text or output field so I am going to use over here fx colon output field and it will display the value value will be account dot name and same copy paste because I would like to show phone number also so account dot phone account dot phone now when I try to save this page or when I try to run this page it will show an error over here so let's save this when I try to save this page it will show an error that this controller screen or FX class screen 3 does not exist so I click on this link to create the class so I click on this link and it will create a class over here or an FX class over here and in this FX class I am going to write my functionality or implement the functionality over here. So I write over here and I am going to implement my functionality over here. So what will be the functionality? First of all I am going to create an object of account class, account object, account and use the get and set method. Then I am going to use constructor over I am going to create a constructor over here, screen 3. And in this constructor, I am going to get the ID. I'm going to create an object of an ID over here. ID, ID is equal to fx pages dot current page dot get parameters dot dot get and simple id over here so i write this over here now why i am writing this statement because i want to get the id from the current page or i want to get the id for the current account basically and i am going to extract the record over here so account is equal to i am going to write here over here soql query Select ID from a name, from a phone, from, from account where ID equal colon ID and I'm going to save this. Get parameters and save this. So, while executing this, this will display an error because actually this is getting ID while we are we are referencing the page from screen 2. So that's why it is showing an error over here. So don't worry about that. Now I'm going to create screen or a second page that is screen 2. So I add over uh, I create a second page over here, screen 2. And on screen 2 page, I'm going to show or first so eliminate this code and create a controller over here screen 2 and here 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the code from the screen 3 so that it will save our time and here we have one output field and one input field because we are going to input the we want user to input the input field because we want user to input the account dot phone and there next we have a button over here apex colon command button value is equal to update and action is equal to save and save this so again it will show an error because this screen to apex class does not exist so I'm going to create this screen to apex class and same in screen to apex class I'm going to write the functionality so I'm going to copy from here and I'll copy paste this on screen 2 and in place of screen 3 constructor screen 2 and because now my requirement is I want to transfer the control from this page to page 3 so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to overwrite the save functionality over Yes, yeah, so I want to override the functionality over here. So here I'm going to write over here public and to override the functionality I'm going to write page reference save and here first of all I want to update account and then I want to refer to page 3 and I would like to pass the ID for this this account over here which I have mentioned over which we have saved just now which we have updated just now so I write here page reference PR is equal to new page reference and here I would like apex slash screen 3 question mark ID is equal to single plus account dot ID and save this and one more thing I forgot return PR because the return type is page reference and save this so screen 2 will also show an error because this screen 2 is getting the ID from the screen 1 so now we need to get we need to create screen 1 over here so I'm going to create screen 1 and uh, I'm going to create screen 1 so in screen 1 I create this and it's in screen one I'm going to get account name from the user so I'll copy paste from here so that it will save our time and uh, first of all I eliminate this code I write over here controller screen one and here I write this and we need input fee for account dot name so I write over here account dot name and uh, this will be action and save this and create the apex screen one class and in this screen one class what we are going to do I am going to first of all I am going to create public ac account account get set and then I'm going to create constructor public screen one and in screen one I'm going to create is equal to new account I'm not getting ID over here because this is our screen one so here we don't want to create any we don't want to get any ID only I want is I want to refer to another page and before referring to page 2 I would like to save this particular account into this account object or I want to create a new account under account object so right here page reference and save execute and here I write insert account and I write over here page reference PR is equal to new page reference and I would like to transfer my control to screen 2 with ID is equal to plus account dot ID and return here and save this.
So once I click on save, you can see the screen one is ready now. And this is screen one, I need to enter the account name. So let's say I enter account name BISP Solutions. Bangalore, B A N G L O R E Bangalore. Now when I click on save button, so as per our requirement, what it will do, it will first of all it will create a new account into account object, then it will transfer to page two. On page two it will show the account name and it will request user to input the phone number. So let's click on save. So you can see over here the the, the screen has been referred on page number screen two. This is uh, the account name is displaying over here and it is asking for requesting for phone number. So I am entering phone number over here and when I click on update button what it will do it will update the account phone number for this particular account and it will transfer the control or it will refer on page 3 and display the account name and phone number over here. So click on update and it will transfer on page number 3 or screen 3 over here and you can see I can see over here account name and phone number. So like this I can use the page reference class in Salesforce or we can use this so this like this we can refer to any page. So that's all in my video. I hope this video helped you to understand clear and clearly understand about page reference or how to you what is a page reference, how to use a page reference in a Salesforce. I will be coming up with some new videos in Salesforce. Keep watching and uh, if you have any questions you can visit our website or you can send an email to us or you can visit our YouTube channel to get more videos on Salesforce. Thanks for watching once again till have a nice day ahead. Bye bye.